time. Why, it's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. Just look at these newspaper items. All about me doing my new character, Sam Shovel, private detective. Well, that's quite a batch uh-huh. of clippings. Uh-huh. Well, what do they say? Uh-huh. What do they say, Lou? What do they say? Yeah. Here's one by Erskine Johnson in the Daily News. It says, some people thought Costello's portrayal of Sam Shovel was good. Some thought it was lousy. They were both right. It was good and lousy. <laughs> that's sort of a 50-50. Yeah, right? oh, yes, yes, yes. Take it any way you that's like. Some, that's quite a write-up, but uh, what do the others say? Here's one from Hedda Hat Hopper. Get this. I heard Lou Costello playing Sam Shovel, private detective, on the radio. I certainly had a full evening. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Look at the way she spells full. F-O-U-L. <laughs> yeah, dummy, who are those letters from? My listener. Here, I'll read one for you. Dear Lou Costello... I think you're acting as Sam Shovel, the detective, is wonderful. If I didn't like it, I'd be crazy as a loon. Who's it signed by? Signed, crazy as a loon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no use arguing with you, Costello. What are you going to do? What are you going to do for your detective story tonight? I thought I might do one of my famous cases. I call it Murder in a Bathtub or Life Boy Kills the <laughs> Yes, I'm Sam Shovel, private detective. I'm standing by the window in my little office reading the newspaper the hard way. The hard way. The paper is on a newsstand across the street. (laughs) I turn from the window and suddenly my eyes fall on the ashtray on my desk. Taking my eyes up and putting them back in my head. I open my trusty gun and start loading it with radishes. I always load my gun with radishes. It's a repeater. I glance at a picture on my office wall. It's a picture of Tilly O'Toole, a famous lady burglar. Beautiful Tilly O'Toole, my most difficult case. I made a lot of money out of that case, but it was tough. I followed her all over the country. She gave me the slip in Kansas City. She gave me the slip in Buffalo. She gave me the slip in Chicago. I didn't catch her, but I made a lot of money selling her slips. (laughs) It's deathly still in my little office. I can hear the clock ticking. I notice the hands of the clock are moving. I don't know where they're moving to, but I hope they send me the new address. (laughs) I walk to the window. Lieutenant Abbott of the Homicide Squad is just turning into my driveway. He parks his car. (laughs) Hello, Sam Shovel. Big speech, wasn't it? Again, I say hello, Sam Shovel. Shovel it. Hello, Lieutenant Abbott. You're soaking wet. Where have you been? I just took a criminal up the river the hard way. The hard way. No boat. (laughs) That's an audition to Sam Shovel. Sam Spoon. (laughs) Just a minute. You told that joke the hard way, too. The hard way. No delivery. (laughs) Lieutenant Abbott, there are strange things going on here. All day, people have been walking back and forth outside my office window. What's strange about that? This office is on the 15th floor. (laughs) 
Those shots came from outside the office. Quick, Sam. Open the door. Sam. Sam. Sam Shovel. I gotta see Sam Shovel. Look at that man, Sam. He's badly wounded. There's four bullets in my chest. There's a knife stuck in my back. My both arms are broken. Come close to me, Sam. Okay, I'm right beside you. Oh, Sam. What's the matter? Does the knife hurt you? No. Oh, Sam. Is it the bullet wound? No. Oh. Why are you groaning? You're standing on my foot. <laughs> Duck, Sam! Look at that black sedan! Duck! <laughs> well, Sam, they finished them off. Lucky for us, we ducked. We would have been killed. No, they couldn't kill us. What makes you so sure they couldn't kill us? We got lines on the next page. I... <laughs> Talk sense, Sam. We've got to find out who this dead man is. I'll search him. Mm. He's got a pocket full of nickel cigars. He's got a book, How to Play the Piano in Ten Easy Lessons. Who do you suppose he is? Must be the Democratic candidate for president. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Abbott left for headquarters. Once more, I was alone in my little office. It was a very hot day. I took off my shirt. My shirt was wringing wet. <laughs> Lieutenant Abbott had left a bottle of scotch on my desk. I picked it up. It was pinch bottle. <laughs> so I pinched it. Suddenly there was a knock on my door. The most gorgeous girl I have ever seen walked into my office. She was wearing a bathing suit. She was beautiful. She struck my fancy. It hurt. I got a tender fancy. <laughs> the beautiful girl spoke. Sam Shovel, you've got to help me. That dead man outside your door is my boy, Sam. But now he's dead. He's dead and I have no one. I have no one to love. You have no one to love? Well, if it's okay with you, I'd like to take his place. It's okay with me if you can fix it with the undertaker. <laughs> I would also like to get your address so I could mail your check to... <laughs> but I couldn't. I couldn't resist her. I put my arms around her and she said... Sam Shuttle. If you'll take this case and help me, I'll give you a kiss that will make your teeth fall out. That I'd like to see. Come close to me, Sam. You come over here. the best chips I've ever had. <laughs> Sam Shovel, you fool, get away from that woman. She's killer. Killer, the hatchet killer. You idiot, you should have been suspicious of her the minute she walked in here wearing a bathing suit. She may be hiding something. Lieutenant Abbott, look at her. How could she be hiding anything? All right, Papa. You got me. I'll confess. I killed him. Kill it. You're under arrest. You're going to the electric chair. Just a minute, Lieutenant Abbott. Just a minute. Hilda, if you're going to the electric chair, would you do me a favor? What? Take these two pieces of bread with you. Why? My poster is busted. <laughs> And that's not quite all, folks. 
Stick around a minute and the boys will be back for a curtain call. And now back for a final word. Costello is a detective. You're ridiculous. Yeah, but I'm a real detective. Last night I saw a man break a jewelry store. Window. <laughs> he grabbed all the stuff in the store and started down Sunset. I followed him. He turned down Vine Street. I followed him on Hollywood Boulevard. He tipped his head to a beautiful girl. I followed her down Sunset. She turned down Vine Street. I followed her. And she... Wait, 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 wait a minute. The man stole the jewelry. Why were you following the girl? Silly boy. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. In college, please. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.